must understand that when you're dealing with a woman, you're actually pulling a woman up to your level. You want a woman to look up to you. You don't want a woman to look down on you. The reason why we deal with certain men or we like certain men with status is because we see him in this amazing light. It's kind of like when a woman just see you as this amazing creature, this amazing man, this amazing whatever. We look up to you. But if you a man that looks down on yourself and you look up to the woman, she she holds m m majority of the power when it comes to the dynamic between you and her because you're more so leaning on her than she's leaning on you. And you're doing majority of the chasing and the proving when it comes to a woman. She's not trying to prove herself to you. She's not even trying to be with you like that. Get what I'm saying? So when it comes to you as a man, if you're looking up to a woman, you don't need to be with her. Because she will never view you in the light of something that she wants to serve or become a better woman. We're not going to want to become a better woman if we're dealing with a man we're looking down on. Because we can pick you apart like that. It's the same number of things we don't like. I don't like the, what you say. I don't like what you do. I don't like this and I don't like that. But when you got a woman that is hypnotized by who the fuck that you are because you put yourself all the way up on this pedestal and you're actually looking down on her, letting her know it's nothing under the sun that she can do to like, you know, to pull you down. But because of the dynamics is that you look down at you look up to the woman that you deal with. And how I know men do this is because I hear men. My woman makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. My woman drives a, a Mercedes Benz. My woman works out ten times a day. Who gives a fuck? That's what she's supposed to do when she's dealing with you. The thing is, you giving golden star to a woman that that's doing things. You're not even giving her a golden star for the way she treats you and her actions. You'll never hear many men say, "I have a submissive woman." When I walk through the motherfucking door, my food is prepared. She has on her fucking lingerie. The kids are asleep. The house clean. She done took care of what I told her to took care. You don't hear that. You always hear men talk about the woman's status. Like, he's dating a fucking nigga. Women talk and we brag about our men's status. We brag about our men at the gym. We brag about the car our men drive. So why are you looking at a woman like she's a nigga instead of looking at a woman like she's a bitch? So looking at a woman like she's a bitch is actually doing the things that you desire. And they're not things, they're not things you can see. Those are her actions. Because that right there makes us better women. Because we're actually proving ourselves to you with our actions, not with things. When we look at men, we look at things. We look at how far um he came along, his status with his work, his body, his money his cars has he execute so when you looking at a woman you don't look at a woman like she's a nigga you looking at the woman like she's a fucking man like and that makes no sense you're not even leaning on her as in doing the things you desire to be with you you looking at her more so like she's a, like like she's a man because you're looking up at her you're not looking down at her you don't see yourself as something when a woman's dealing with you she's gonna she's gonna be dealing with this amazing man so if anything she's gonna gain by dealing with you you don't see yourself in that sense because you're still looking up at bitches how you put women in the godlike status is when you are always on instagram when you're on facebook when you're on youtube when you're on tiktok you put this woman in a godlike status those women that you look at become your God. They become something to worship. So when you see a woman in a in that physical sense, how whatever woman that you are attracted to, or whatever woman that you're looking up, you you know you view you put her in that godlike status. So when you come across women, you already viewing this woman from a godlike position. That Instagram shit is nothing for but for the birds. That's not your money. That's not you building your status. That's not you building your wealth. Women, we go on Instagram and fantasize. We go on Facebook. We go on TikTok. 
we go on YouTube and we fantasize about the men that we want. Men, those women come to you. They're drawn to you because you know they're fantasizing about you. You know that she's, you know, deep down inside, you're the man that she fantasizes about. So why are you looking at women from the position of, damn, that bitch bad. Damn, I got to get with that bitch. You looking at couple goals like you a bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying that Instagram shit and all that, that social media shit, that is just a way to train you to view women as putting them on this goddamn pedestal. Instead of if a woman meets you, she's looking up at you because she wants to be close to you. If anything, you put, you put your hand down and you pull her up. She see you at the top. She see you as somebody she want to get close to. And all of that is like hypnotizing to us because when we brag to our friends, when we brag to our families, when we brag to people about you, you're going to hear it because she's going to gloat about it. But because men gloat about bitches, you put that bitch on a pedestal and you're looking up at the bitch because men gloat about their bitches. Men do that. If anything, men talking about the things the bitch doing for them. Men don't do that. Men gloat about bitches all the time. And when you do that, you putting a bitch on a pedestal. You don't even see yourself. You don't even see yourself. So when I hear men, I be like, man, look at this. This quote unquote supposed to be claimed he's a red pill. But this man gloating about bitches like he's a bitch. He's gloating. He's gloating so motherfucking hard. He see her as his God. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I can read between the lines. I'm not stupid. So when a woman is dealing with a man, she's supposed to be looking up at you. So it's things that we want to do to get close to you. It's things that we must achieve to be close to you. So women know this. We know this. This is our secret. We know men fantasize about fucking we know men want, you know, we know that shit. But the more and more you are brainwashed on social media and how you gloat about women and, you know, all that other shit, you actually put women in the position of looking down at you like you're some fucking peasant. And you don't even know that. You don't even fucking know. But that's something we women, we know. You know, like the most weirdest shit I ever seen is when men doing those couple goals challenges. That's that's a couple's goal challenge. You see men in TikTok videos dancing with their girlfriends, dancing with their wife, doing all that clownish shit. <laughs> it's clownish. Sorry, it is. That is some weird shit. When you see couples matching, you know, I have on a shirt that say some crazy shit and he have on a shirt saying some crazy shit and we just a duo. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like that fantasy bullshit. Because you put this bitch on a pedestal like that is some weird shit. I don't look at any of that shit. I don't. So that's clownery shit to me. That is when you begin to idolize the woman that you're dealing with. You you idolize that woman in a sense because sh you have to prove to the massive, the men. You have to prove to other men that my wife put me in this spot. My girl gave me this spot. So I'm going to do this dance with her on social media and make myself look like a fucking fool for this dame. I'm going to do this weird ass TikTok video dance with to Britney Spears. I'm going to be wearing a, a pajama set with this bitch. Because I have to prove that I love her in this video so I can sell a dream to other men. So other men to know when they get with a woman how to look like a fucking clown. That's a facade. You idolize the woman to the point that she got you doing dances on fucking TikTok. That's weird shit. My daddy will slap the shit out of anybody that try to put him in some shit like that. My daddy ain't play that. He ain't play no games like that. 
it is you having authority over the women that you're dealing with. We must view you in a light that you we must be a better woman to get with you. We're not matching twins. We're not twins. I don't look like you and you don't look like me. I have a role and you have a role. My role when I get with you is to become a better woman because I'm not I am not the woman you want when you meet me. But you put a woman in that godlike status because these are women that you worship. No woman should be the perfect woman when you meet her. It is a conquering process. And when we see you as a man that we're willing to change, but we change to better be in your life. Because you're something that we want. Do you understand? So that's where the disconnect when it comes to men, when you're dealing with a woman, you're putting her on this pedestal, this God-like pedestal. And how you get there is by training your mind to view the bitch like she's something to serve or some shit like that. When men are the teachers, men are the leaders, men are the protector. In order for her to get all of that with dealing with you, she's willing to change to become a better virgin of herself just to stand behind you. But she must understand she don't want to be the same woman she was in the past. So it's kind of like she met God and you got and you just, you know what I mean? You just <laughs> changing her up. You see how quote unquote hoes go to church and they change themselves for God. Oh, you know, I'm a new woman. I'm a, I, I'm a born again virgin. That's how it is when a woman get with you. She put away with everything to become a better virgin when it comes to you. You don't become a better virgin for the bitch. You're already at that top. But, but see, if you're not that best virgin of yourself, you already know a woman's not going to change for you. But you got to ask yourself that question. You get what I'm saying? Because we're going to find the flaws in you. We're going to discredit you. And if you're not used to dealing with women, you're not going to know the maneuver she's going to use to get you to depend on her words. Getting you to depend on her words. When you begin to become emotionally caught up on a bitch. Because you put her in this godlike status that you're looking up at her and she's not looking up at you. So that is when you begin to lean on a bitch. You're leaning on her because you know that in your life, you're not executing your life. Get what I'm saying? 